I'm the one you lost. I'm currently sick as crap. And here's how I made this artwork. So first of all, like always, we're starting out with the head. Um, I really need to figure out a way to explain how I draw heads, which is from scratch the same way every single time. I'm so sorry. But I'm going for kind of a cool perspective here where the feet are closer at the end of... Uh, Basically, the perspective is kind of a little bit wild in this one, but it's definitely a lot of fun, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, this is my first time drawing feet from a reference, so I was really hoping I got it right this time, and I think I did a pretty good job. Um, had to do some corrections toward the end, but I think I did pretty good. So I had to keep adjusting it to make sure the perspective was correct, um, make sure everything looks proper. This was definitely a tricky angle to work with, so it, it took a lot of extra thought and effort. And the uh, the reference I had wasn't exactly the same way that that uh, I was drawing it, so it was definitely trickier. So now we're starting to get toward the end. I ended up wanting to draw Crony again from Hall Alive. I really like Crony. Um, I just like all VTubers, if I'm being honest. I didn't know if I wanted her having her hand there, but then I ended up saying kind of deciding, hey, maybe I could have her on a couch. That'd be cool. So I ended up doing that. But getting the arm perspective right was kind of difficult. Um, and I ended up finally figuring it out toward the end. But it's funny how the way I drew it right now, it kind of looks like a really awkward, almost a T-pose-esque look. So it's like, oh my god, you're a bird. Maybe not, but... It was interesting. And getting the chest right this time was difficult too because I had kind of an awkward angle to work with. So you'll see I, I kept changing things to kind of get it to look correct. Yeah, I, I went through a lot of iterations on this one and it took a while to get to where I wanted it to get. My chair is making a ton of noise. I'm stuffy. Let's do this. That arm on the right is so incorrect, it's not even funny. That's, that's why I had to go in and change it later, because I'm like, ew, that looks like absolute crap. And then I realized how to draw the arm around the cushion, and I was like, oh, that looks so much better. And then I kind of readjusted to get the composition to look correct. Re readjusted the size of the feet, that way it looks more like it's coming at you at the camera, so to speak. So now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to start drawing the guides to the head here pretty soon and see if I can get the eyes to be properly situated on the head. Remember when drawing eyes that even in anime, eyes are an eye length apart. Whereas some designs that are more stylized don't necessarily do that. My, my stuff I kind of try to lean into uh, realism a bit more, so I do an eye length apart. And you got to remember the flat part of the head. That's super important too. So now we're getting somewhere. I, I had to figure out what I was going to do for clothes. And originally I was going to draw like a skirt. But um, I ended up changing my mind later. Um, should I have changed my mind? Maybe, maybe not. But I, I almost did like a tasteful nude in this one. I didn't show anything, but I kind of, kind of hinted at it. You know what I mean? It's okay to hint at nudity as long as you don't show anything. That's art, baby. <coughs> Woo. I've got the COVID-19. Now we're starting to color in the base and plan out the artwork a bit more. Again, as I've said in other videos, I can't really see things in my head, so I have to have a good reference in front of me, and um, I have to plan it out manually, thinking about... Um, how light casts a shadow. Yeah, I had trouble figuring out what colors I wanted to use this time, but I ended up settling on something that a bit darker. So those two blue orbs are to kind of help guide the composition a bit more. Uh, the one on the far right might be a bit too much of a tangent, but um, it's, it's not terrible, it's all right.
casting the shadows. Now here pretty soon I'm going to start adding effects, that way I can kind of plan the uh, it for the final render. We're getting there. There's the tonal curve to kind of add some more pinkish to the shadows. Add an add glow layer to make the light kind of warm and shine through. Then some level correction to kind of even it out. Then a small border just to keep things interesting. I think I end up changing it later, but uh, that's kind of the idea. Did some of these lines to kind of help guide the composition a bit. Um, I end up changing it in the final product and kind of going for more of a V shape, which uh, the U isn't bad, but the V was more striking. So now we've pretty much got our finished sketch. I'm going to start um, kind of messing with it. There's a bit of a jump in time here where I made some decisions that I ended up changing back later. Um, I actually started a brand new project while in the middle of this one. So, so here comes the line art, the thing that I struggle every time to figure out what to say. But the most thing I think, ugh, um, what I'll say is line art is definitely one of those things that I really, really enjoy. They're very, uh, it's very relaxing for me. And it's just kind of how I refine my artwork. And I'm a really big fan of doing that, so I hope you enjoy it as well. There wasn't that much to line in this one, actually, which was kind of nice because lining for long periods of time can be kind of overwhelming. I usually have to take breaks, go out for a walk, and just kind of settle things nice and slowly. But my goal was getting kind of some squish in the breasts and then draw the legs and make them look correct. The legs were a bit tricky, but half of the legs is the rendering and the other half is just the movement. So now I'm getting more detailed with the toes, adding the toenails, and I end up painting the toenails blue because blue character, yay! I feel like crap. Save me from this congestion hell. kind of had the toes pointed. I ended up making this one toe really big for some reason. I had to go back in and fix it because my God, it was way too big. So now we have the character a bit more fleshed out. I was gonna go with some ice cubes or something cause I found this cool like ice cube brush, but I ended up deciding against it. I'm gonna figure out how to use that later. Added some indentations in the couch cushion to make it look like she's sinking in it a bit more. Getting the cushion to look like a cushion is kind of a pain in the butt, if I'm being honest. But I'm getting better at it. Backgrounds are hard. I'm, uh, I'm slowly getting better at them. The issue is, half the time, I'm, I forget to record them. So, sorry. Perspective is also something that I've gotten a lot better at. It's actually one of the first things I teach my students whenever I teach them at this point. If I had known how important perspective was whenever I first started learning how to draw, I would have been teaching it first thing. Because, oh my god, shapes, form, and perspective carry your artwork half the time. Rendering is nice, but like having everything look anatomically correct is super important. final stages of the line art now so yay I'm gonna go ahead and do the hair I get really refined with the hair and line art uh, but I feel like I don't render hair very good um, my hair is very lacking whenever I render it it's not really that great in my personal opinion but the depth in the line art is there it's just kind of I've really got to figure out how to have more tasteful renders with how I do my hair. Vents are also kind of tricky to draw and make them look good, but I'm getting better at them the more I've been drawing crony. She is a clock. Guardian of time. 
The thing I'd never have enough of. There we go. There's the line art. So here pretty soon we're going to start adding the base colors. Nice and clean. Just the way I like it. So I add a fold underneath and start naming the colors. I change the background to green. That way I can see any color popping through. And that definitely helps. I use the fill tool for uh, putting colors down. And then sometimes a brush to kind of fill in the blanks. So now we've almost got everything going in terms of base colors. Now we're doing the background. For a while there, I wanted to make it blue, but it was just too much. Just filling in all the blanks here. And now we're going to start the rendering. So the rendering was pretty uh, simple. I went for almost a cel-shaded a look while softening up the edges a little bit. Uh, so it was a little bit easier to take care of once I knew what the lighting was. Man, I love rendering skin. It's so much fun. So I, I kind of add some layers and I make it a little bit darker. That way it kind of stands out a bit more. Now I think this is the point where I start doing the uh, face, yes. I render super quick so I apologize if, uh, if it's going too fast but I'm doing my best to narrate it. Just make sure that the uh, swimsuit looks kind of round, that way it like fits the character a bit more. Add the shading on the uh, chair. And all the reflections kind of use an airbrush to erase some of the harshness of the shadows add a hard multiply layer on top of the hair to kind of carve out the light to make it look a bit more intense there we go now it's starting to look good did some add glow in there to kind of make it pop a bit more So now I'm just adding little details to everything, shading these little orbs down here. Doing the eyes now. I have a tutorial on how I make eyes. It's a little bit outdated, but you can find it in my tutorials playlist. Now I added some uh, depth to the V here to kind of make it seem a bit cooler. I then uh, put cracks in it, copy and paste it, convert lines to be a bit thicker, then add a Gaussian blur to um, make it appear almost like a glow. Here's a tunnel curve to add some pink into it, and just some quick uh, lines to uh, kind of guide the composition a bit more. And with that, we are pretty much done. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, helps out a whole lot. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!